kicking off the UFC 274 pay-per-view. I cannot wait for this matchup. It's legend versus legend. We got Donald Cowboy Cerrone taking on Joe Lozon. And you know what, Meet? The last time we saw Joe Lozon, he looked pretty good. It was that fight against JSP, Jonathan Pierce, and he was able to finish Jonathan Pierce despite being a decent dog. And it was nice to see because he had lost three straight before that. And you were wondering sort of what Joe Lozon had left in the tank because he got finished in two straight. And that most concerning one was against Chris Gritz, Gritzmacher, who hasn't won a lot of UFC fights and of recent has really fallen on hard times. So for Joe Lozon to go out there and get finished by Gritz, which is a little bit concerning and then same thing happened in that fight before that versus clay the carpenter guida and then he dropped that majority decision to stevie ray who isn't even a, a fighter anymore he retired so it was very nice to see joe lozon take out jsp uh and jsp has been winning a lot of fights and is a young up-and-comer so it was nice to see joe still had something left in the tank and i'll be curious to see how he stacks up against cowboy cerrone who to be honest hasn't won a fight since 2019 and that's essentially a lifetime ago and if we scroll through Cowboy Cerrone's uh, history, it's pretty crazy to see that we saw him fight in a fight of the night in 2011 against Charles Dubronx Oliveira. And it was a fight where Cowboy got finished, uh, Dubronx got the bonus, and it's just crazy that now a decade later, he's opening the card of which Charles Oliveira is headlining as he tries to defend his championship gold so so crazy to see, see just the trajectories and how the the last 10 years have gone for each of these men and it's cool i guess to see them on fighting on the same card so are you taking cowboy to like get out of his recent slump because he lost to morono he had that no contest to nico price which was originally a draw and originally a fight where a lot of people thought nico probably did enough to win and then he lost to pettis lost to mcgregor lost to gaichi and lost to Ferguson so obviously all super tough dudes but do you think Joe Lozon is just going to do the same thing he's done uh do the same thing that recent opponents have done to Cowboy or is this the one that sort of gets Cowboy back on track and maybe he even hangs him up with a decisive win who you got in this one this one's this one's fireworks yeah, no, definitely fireworks. Very excited for this. Um, I feel like, you know, loser gets cut or retires. Um, uh, but I got to go with Joe. I, you know, Cowboy just, I think he just had too many fights. I mean, just look at that record. Uh, that is crazy. And um, he hasn't been looking the sharpest, I would say. And Joe hasn't been looking sharp either. But that last fight really did it for me. And that's why I'm picking him. I think he might even get a finish. Um, he looked really good. It was very surprising to see, to be honest. Um, like you said, coming off those three losses, brutal ones too. And coming back looking stronger than ever with the beautiful finish. So I think he actually is going to get it done. I feel very bad for Cowboy because he's getting put and he's tapping out, as his shirt would say. Were you at all surprised by the odds then? Because, I mean, you seem pretty bullish on Joe Lozon, but, I mean, he's a plus 150 dog, and over at Tapology, he's only getting 37%, whereas uh, Cowboy's getting a decent 63. So if you're bullish on Joe Lo, do you think uh, that the odds makers are just really missing this one? Yeah, I I think they're really missing it, and I think there's just a lot of Cowboy fans, and, and maybe they're not really missing it, and everyone's just like, Cowboy's the best, you know, I don't know, it's like Diaz fans, like, wouldn't surprise me if Diaz is favored versus John Jones, you know, um, just the fans, you know, it's all about who's putting the bets where they are, you know, so clearly, seems there's a lot of Tapology fans going for Cerrone, which, you know, I'm a Cerrone fan too, but, you know, this isn't the ultimate feelings champions that some someone would say this is you know we're picking odds here and, and uh who i think is going to actually win and i gotta go with joe you think it's gonna be earlier or later and uh if it's earlier you you mentioned that he might be tapping out you think lozon might put that black belt to use and uh can do something slick on the ground i mean we know cowboy's a legit black belt too and we've seen him have some nice submission victories in the past as well so do you think it's more so uh joe lozon submission maybe even a tko or do you think that joe lozon could grind out a decision I think he could ground a decision, but I think a TKO is the most probable. Um, uh, Cerrone is a legit black belt. I think he's more going to tap out from the beatdown he's going to get, not from a submission attempt. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I think Joe's going to get it done. Decision or TKO slash KO. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty early, but I hope it goes decision because I just want to see these guys have an amazing fight because a good chance both or at least one will be their last in the UFC.
Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I mean, Cowboy obviously has the most UFC fights in company history. Uh, you wonder if he's a guy that uh, maybe the UFC would allow to exit on his own terms. But at the same token, how many losses in a row uh, will they allow to happen, right? Because you kind of saw with Anderson Silva, like I bet Silva would 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 have been down to keep fighting, but he kind of got cut off as a result of all the uh, damage he was accruing. So perhaps that could happen to Cowboy, but I don't know. I think that this is good matchmaking in the sense that Honestly, I'd be down with both these guys to hang them up after this fight. Just go out there, engage in a uh, main card opening, absolute slobber knocker, and maybe they both hang them up in the cage afterwards. But in this contest, I got to roll with Cowboy Cerrone. I mean, I think he was close in that fight against Nico Price. In the fight against Alex Morono, it wasn't as close as I thought it would be. I really thought that Cowboy would uh, have a better showing in that one. But I just think that Lozon isn't in this same category of caliber fighters that Cerrone's been losing to and although he did get that nice win over JSP which like kind of trips me up a bit because you know JSP is pretty nice and I wonder what JSP first Cowboy would look like I don't know I just think Cowboy's able to get this one done I, I was watching the interview you know in the media scrum today and he seems focused seems ready seems uh he, he mentioned something about how his kid is gonna watch him perform for the first time and you know sometimes that dad energy uh it's channeled pretty strongly for Cowboy Cerrone. So I'm going Cowboy in this one. I think it's by decision. And like you said, I'm just hopeful that it's a, a drag him out slobber knocker because uh, you would love to see these guys go to war, you know? Absolutely. Throw in the comments you guys got. You got Dad Cowboy or Lazon.